Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening, you're watching Oman News from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The tropical storm continues to move towards the Sultanate's coasts. The Public Authority for Civil Defense confirms preparations of state sectors to deal with weather condition Nanuak. A precautionary measures are taken up to deal with the possible tropical storm by various institutions of the state. And the Higher Committee for Oman University project discusses developments uh, towards preparing the brand identity for the university. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines and now the news in details. We would like to call attention of uh, our Urdu speaking audience uh, that we will have a report in Urdu language on the expected tropical storm. And now for the details. The third advisory issued by the Public Authority of uh, Civil Aviation regarding the tropical condition in the Arabian Sea and categorized a tropical storm stated that, according to the latest weather prediction charts, the tropical storm Nanua continues moving in northwest direction. The tropical storm is currently centered at latitude 18.3 degrees north and longitude 64.3 degrees east. The center of the storm is currently about 620 kilometers away from Masira Island with estimated surface wind speed around the center is between 45 and 55 knots. The latest uh, predictions uh, pointed out that the tropical storm is moving northwest toward, towards, towards the Sultanate's coast and is expected to weaken gradually before the start of its effect on the Sultanate's coast during the next 48 hours as it was referred to earlier. The Public Authority for Civil Defense confirmed preparations of sectors and entities concerned to deal with weather condition in line with its development. That came during a meeting of the authority which was chaired by Major General Abdullah bin Ali Al-Harthi, Chairman of the Public Authority for Civil Defense, with the presence of coordinators of the national system sectors and units members. The meeting was held at the authority's premises to follow up tropical condition and efforts coordination among bodies related in such conditions. Relief sector of the National Committee for Civil Defense is ready for any condition may affect the Sultanate and previous experiences confirmed that. That was emphasized by His Excellency Dr. Yahya bin Badr al Ma'wali, Under Secretary of the Ministry of Social Development and member of National Committee for Civil Defense. He added that the Ministry of Social Development is in charge of the relief sector and there was an early coordination for any emerging situation. He said it is not sure that there will be any situation needs any extraordinary crisis management, but the preparation is ongoing. He also said related bodies had benefited from previous experiences and dealing with such situation becomes naturally assuring full cooperation for all. The Ministry of Commerce and Industry has also taken up precautionary measures to provide commodities at local markets as well as petroleum products at fuel filling stations in an anticipation for any effect of Nanoak. The Ministry mentioned that there is a direct coordination with commercial centers to provide commodities in all governorates of the Sultanate. Coordination also was conducted with marketing companies of petroleum products to avoid any shortage. The Ministry contacted all directorates and and departments of the Minister of Commerce and Industry in all governorates of the Sultanate to coordinate and follow up situation promptly. The Committee of the Medical and Public Health Preparedness and Responsive Sector met this afternoon under the chairmanship of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Saif Al Hosni and the Secretary of the Minister of Health for Health Affairs. More details in the following report. 
cancer. In preparation of the medical public health preparedness and responsive sector to deal with the tropical storm that may reach the coast of Oman, a meeting was held this morning at the Emergency and Crisis Center, chaired by His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Saif bin Sultan Al Husni, and the Secretary of the Minister of Health for Health Affairs and Head of the Medical and Public Health Preparedness and Responsive Sector. One of the functions of this center is to coordinate, to coordinate the efforts between the ministry between the sector itself mm. and the um, and the governorates and at the level of the governorates uh, there are local centers uh, which deal with the uh, uh, with the crisis at the um, uh, at that level mm -hmm. and um, here we coordinate the the efforts and we are uh, if need be and I hope uh, inshallah there won't be any need mm -hmm. we liaise with the uh, committee for civil defense during this meeting, the status of the tropical storm was reviewed as per the orbital data released from the risk analysis and early warning sector forecast, represented by the Directorate General of Metrology and Air Navigation. The committee also reviewed the readiness to deal with the tropical storm, which would raise the level of preparedness and response to health institutions, which ensures the continuity of the work in these institutions and provide health care for citizens and residents. Uh, preparedness has been uh, taken to make sure that the health uh, delivery uh, is continuous, it is not interrupted, mm -hmm. and that all efforts are uh, made to uh, uh, liaise between different health centers and hospitals mm -hmm. so that uh, people are not uh, cut from, uh, are not deprived of uh, receiving the service in case uh, we have uh, flowing wadis and uh, so forth. From Emergency and Crisis Management Center at the premises of the Minister of Health, Abu Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubai, Sultanate of Oman Television. The Public Authority for, Sto for Stores and Food Reserve had completed its various preparedness uh, also in anticipation for the tropical condition. A work plan was prepared and included the activation of emergency plan at the authority. Setting up operation center at the authority's department in Roussel where stores and warehouses are available. It also put officials and human cadres at quick response for any circumstances. The authority confirms its readiness and announces that there is enough uh, food stock is available for a long period. Muscat uh, municipality has also taken numerous precautionary measures to deal with the expected tropical storm. Preparations uh, were taken at all municipal units and equipment and machinery were put on alert uh, to be used if necessary. Muscat municipality added that its directorates uh, at all relies of the governorates are put in full preparedness. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and still to come in our news bulletin. Masarra is the title of marketing identity for the project of rural women products at the Governorate of Adakhiliya. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman television.
The Higher Committee for Mam University Project today held its second meeting of the year under the auspices of His Highness Sayyid Shihab bin Tariq Al Said, advisor of His Majesty the Sultan and chairman of the committee. The meeting included following up the recommendations and decisions made by the committee at the previous meeting and the progress made by the project. The meeting included a presentation on the developments towards preparing the brand identity of the university and the proposals for its streams made by the specialized company. It also presented the action plan for the coming stage of the project, which include the academic and administrative side development plan, in addition to appointing a number of academic advisor and specialists and forming an international consultancy committee. During his meeting with domestic shipping agents in Port Sohar, His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Bom Mohammed Al Futaisi, Minister of Transport and Communications, was acquainted with the port's preparedness of readiness to transfer shipping services from Port Sultan Qaboos in Masqat. The transfer will be completed by the end of August this year. His Excellency, the Minister of Transport and Communications, has said that the transfer has started from Port Sultan Qaboos to Sohar Port before its fixed date by two months, adding that there are navigational lines have transferred its activities from Muscat starting from the 1st of June. He said that this is a good uh, in, uh, indicator and achievements uh, for the vision formulated by the government. The meeting included a number of visual presentations made by handling uh, stations. It is expected that this transfer will increase the volume of goods by 300,000 uh, typical containers, 200,000 tons of general commodity shipments and 70,000 vehicles. Competent authorities in the Sultanate are following closely money laundering and terrorism funding operations. Investigations are underway and cases are filed against, uh, filed against some uh, perpetrators of such crimes. These were disclosed at money laundering and terrorism funding combat seminar. Great efforts are being exerted by all bodies to combat these crimes due to their economic and social impact. <coughs> To, to combat this kind of crimes uh, through the uh, promulgation of legal regulations that uh, criminalize the perpetrators of such crimes. The seminar targets non-government organizations as they are much prone to such type of crimes. The Ministry of Education held a ceremony to honor 304 male and female excelled employees at the Ministry General Diwan and Educational Directorates. The event was presided over by Her Excellency Dr. Madiha bin Ahmed Aishaybaniya, Minister of Education. It came in recognition of efforts exerted by teachers and other educational employees. The ceremony included various artistic shows performed by some male and female students of the Governorate of Muscat. A five-day workshop on leading organization change and leaders for excellence organized by the Ministry of Health, Directorate General of Education and Training Quality Department concluded today. More details in the following report. A leading organization change and leaders of excellence workshop for the Dean's Quality Assurance Focal Points of the Ministry of Health, Higher Educational Institutes, led by Dr. Carol Cole and international experts from the Institutes of the Total Quality Management, Zurich, Switzerland, concluded today. We're working on organizational change and change management, and we got people from all the educational institutes that are looking at concepts of change management since all the institutes now are moving towards being under the umbrella of one college. So the most important thing is that the educators as well as the leaders and managers in the institute take back these concepts and move them towards knowing what is the process from now until we actually transit to the college. The workshop is designed specifically for the category of staff that are at the leadership positions to empower them to achieve leadership excellence in education and in the event of transition to college program and smooth management of the anticipated change.
This workshop discussed uh, in the first two days uh, the European Foundation Quality Model, which is a framework that guide organizations who strive for excellence or they are committed to excellence uh, towards meeting their short-term or long-term objectives. We also discussed about including uh, all the stakeholders to achieve um, the organizational um, uh, objectives. We did a couple of activities which were very productive towards how to use the framework and identify um, what are the risk factors, what are the difficulties uh, in achieving uh, organizational objectives. This workshop about leading organizational changes was very effective. It's going to help us a lot for the new changes and for the new visions. We have here a mixed group of people. We have a quality specialist, uh, people who will become specialists for change management, and at the same time we have also leaders of institutions, of educational institutions. For the leaders of educational institution, uh, at this level we had the training would be enough. They are more sensitive, they uh, know the basics about it. The specialists, they definitely need more training, more in-depth, that they can better support their leaders in managing change to make, make any projects more successful. The five-day workshop has given opportunity for the participant to exercise the real situations that will allow them to achieve and sustain outstanding levels of performance that will meet or exceed the expectations of all stakeholders. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanat of Oman Television. The Municipal Council reviewed in its meeting today banned smoking in the public places and amended the terms of giving and renewing the license of Shisha Coffee Shop. The Council discussed uh, gardening the general streets and increasing the green areas in the Governorate of Muscat. In addition to viewing recommendations of the General Affairs Committee which related to ways of preserving the old style of the Wilay of Matra. His Excellency Engineer Mohsen bin Mohammed bin Ali al Sheikh, Chairman of Municipal Council in the Governorate of Muscat, headed the meeting. In order to get acquainted with work progress at Taram Ramlat Khaila Road project and the crossing border at the empty quarter in the Wilaya of Ibri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council for planning members of Shura Council and Chairman and Member of Municipal Council in the Governorate of Al-Zahira visited these two vital projects that they will streamline transport between the Sultanate and Saudi Arabia. The road project is of great economic and social importance. It will shortcut the distance between the Sultanate and Saudi Arabia which will reduce the time and efforts for travelers between the two countries. The 160 kilometers long road passes through various areas till, till reach the empty quarter. The border crossing being implemented by Royal Oman Police will be completed by the end of this year. The Scientific Exploration Center affiliated to the Director General for Education in the Governorate of North Sharqiya focused in its various programs on training through using the international interactive tools. The program aimed to develop the skills, abilities and knowledge of employees in the field of leading the work teams, planning as well as employing the various efficiencies in using direct interactive training tools. Masara was the title of marketing identity for the project of rural women products at the Governorate of Adakhaliya, which inaugurated this morning in the Wilaya of Nizwa under the auspices of His Excellency Sheikh Dr. Khalifa bin Hilal al Saadi, Governor of Adakhaliya. The project idea came to support marketing of the products of rural women working at various agriculture fields, craft activities by a number of programs with the aim of promoting products in modern and developed ways, in addition to provide job opportunities opportunities and income for general education female graduates and increased rural women contributions in achieving advanced levels of food security. And now, as promised, here is a report in Urdu language about the tropical storm expected to land in the Sultanate. Further details with Sayyida Nayab. بحریہ عرب میں تازہ ترین حالت کے حوالے سے 
سول ایویشن کی عوامی اتھارٹی کی طرف سے جاری دوسری مشاورتی پیشن گوئی کے مطابق طوفان اگلے چوبیس گھنٹوں میں سلطنت کے ساحل کی طرف سے شمال مغربی سمت میں آگے بڑھ رہا ہے طوفان کا مرکز اس وقت چھ سو تیس کلو میٹر دور ہے مسیرا سے سول ایویشن کے عوامی اتھارٹی کے مطابق طوفان جون پندرہ دو ہزار چودہ راس الحد اور راس مدراکا کے درمیان عمان کے ساحل سے گزرے گا طوفان کے عمان کے ساحل کے قریب آ کر آہستہ آہستہ کمزور ہونے کی توقع ہے شہری دفاع کے لیے پبلک اتھارٹی کے چیئرمین میجر جنرل عبداللہ بن علی الہارتی نے کہا کہ موسمی صورتحال سے نمٹنے کے لیے متعلقہ اداروں اور شعبوں کی تیاریاں ان کے ساتھ مکمل ہیں قومی کمیٹی شہری دفاع اور سماجی ترقی کے انڈر سیکرٹری ڈاکٹر یاہیا بن بدر الماولی نے کہا ہے کہ ہم کسی بھی ہنگامی صورتحال کے لیے تیار ہیں تجارت اور صنعت کی وزارت نے بھی مقامی مارکیٹس میں سامان فراہم کرنے کے لیے احتیاطی احکامات اٹھا لیے ہیں تجارت اور صنعت کی وزارت نے صورتحال پر قابو رکھنے کے لیے اپنے شعبے کے باقی اداروں سے بھی تعاون کرنے کے لیے رابطہ کر لیا ہے وزارت صحت معاملات طبی اور صحت کے سربراہ اور عوامی صحت کے شعبے کے انڈر سیکرٹری ہز ایکسیلنسی ڈاکٹر محمد بن سیف الحسنی نے طوفان سے نمٹنے کی تیاریوں کا معائنہ کیا اور یقین دہانی کرائی کہ طوفان سے نمٹنے کی ساری تیاریاں مکمل ہیں سٹورز اور خوراک کے ذخائر کے لیے پبلک اتھارٹی نے اپنی تیاریاں مکمل کر لی ہیں اور کھانے پینے کی اشیاء ایک طویل مدت کے لیے دستیاب ہیں حکام اور دیگر کارکنان کسی بھی صورتحال میں فوری رد عمل کے لیے تیار ہیں مسکت منسپلٹی نے مشینری اور دیگر ساز و سامان الرٹ پر ڈال دیا ہے اگر ضروری ہو تو استعمال کیا جائے مزید مسکت منسپلٹی نے کہا صوبائی حکومتوں کی تمام ریاستوں کی تیاریاں مکمل ہیں This is the Sultanate of Oman Television and now before we end tonight's bulletin here are the main points once again. The tropical storm continues to move towards the Sultanate's uh, coasts. The Public Authority for Civil Defense uh, confirms preparations of state sectors to deal with weather condition nonwide. Precautionary measures are taken up uh, to deal with the possible tropical storm by various institutions of the state. And the Higher Committee for Oman University Project discusses developments towards preparing the brand identity of the university. With that, we come to an end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.